So let's discover the upper horizontal loop for Tunisian. So what you need to do is it consists of two rows. So the first going a forward pass and then return and then there's gonna be a different set of instruction for the second time and then pass and then we go back to the first. The reason for it is that we want to keep it so that it doesn't go up into a parallelogram. So the very first time you're going to do it you're going to skip over the stitch that is in between the first a vertical bar and the second and you wanna go the one between the second and the third and all you're just going to do is that you're just going to insert into the upper bar. So it's just, you see how it's just laying on top there? So right, just going straight up into that bar, pull through and then you're gonna work your way across. So you go into the next upper bar that's in between the next verticals and so on. So this one because you skipped the very first one here, you wanna make sure that you're going to get into the last gapping space when you're doing this row. And you'll remember this too, like it's not very hard to uh, to um, forget the stitches on this one. So I'm just making my way all the way across. Now, this is the last one here. Now you wanna go into the next space that's after this final bar that you see but before the end. So go up into that one and pull through and then go into the side as normal. Okay, now to return pass is like before, so yarn over, pull through only one to build, that's your chain one, and then pulling it through twos all the way back. So that was your first row. Now the second pass is gonna be slightly different. So because last time you skipped it and you went to the one between the second and the third, this time you wanna go in between the first and the second. So just straight up into the first one and collect and then keep on collecting across. So you just change the position just slightly. That means that we're going to skip the space that is in between the last vertical bar and the edge on this pass. Now in the instruction book you will not see the two different rows and the reason why I picked this up is that in the full stitch you have to adjust like that. So I'm thinking for the gusset you would have to do that as well but make sure you follow the instructions that Della gives you on the cruise. So coming through so I'm gonna skip the last gapping one and I'm just gonna go right into the final edge and pull through and then yarn over to pull through one. That's your chain one and then two all the way back. So this is the upper horizontal loop stitch and then you'll see that it looks really cool when you're doing this one and every stitch has its own little textures look and this is a really neat one to know. So then if you start the next one you're going to skip the first one and go right over between the second and the third and start there and so on and then come back and then the next time it'll be between the first and the second and there and back. This is how you do the upper horizontal loop stitch.